Hey everyone, it is Tuesday, February 20th, and I'm going to be doing a vlog um, for the rest of the week. I didn't vlog yesterday because it was a day off for my kids, and my husband was homesick yesterday, so it'll just be Tuesday through Friday. Um, today, I'm going to be shipping out quite a bit of stuff that sold over the weekend, which is great. And I will share those sales with you. And I also wanted to clean out my inventory this week. That was going to be like my main focus for this vlog. I really want to like get rid of a bunch of bad buys that I have in my inventory. I will show you my bins. They are overflowing. They are messy. So we will work on that. And um, my husband actually is at the bins right now. He went to work. Well, he didn't get to work, but they actually called him and told him not to come because it was slow. So he took a leave without pay day. And he was like, well, I'm down here. Should I go to the bins? And I was like, it's up to you. So he got there at opening and we'll see what kind of stuff he picks up today. So I will share that in the video as well. Um, I'm gonna continue getting my son ready for school and then I'll check back in in a little bit. Okay, so my son just left for school, so I'm gonna be pulling all of these sales. And this is what my inventory bins look like. So some of them are overflowing, so I need to fix that problem. And uh, and then I also have some stuff in here that are, um, I pulled them already to kind of get rid of them. Um, and then I have some donation stuff in this thing as well. So I'm gonna put this on a time lapse while I'm pulling all my inventory and then I'll share my sales with you guys while I'm shipping. teaspoon shorts um, I don't remember what they sold for but they probably sold for not very much because they didn't have a size in them so I kind of just had to guess and I've had them for a while so <laughs> um, I just wanted to get them out and then next sale was um, a juicy couture tracksuit it's it was my daughter's and she never wore it so I listed it and I think it sold for 25 I think that was my full asking price. And then let's see, Madewell, number 12. Let's see. Uh, these, I don't remember what they sold for, but I will pop it up on the screen. I think these came in a Thread Up Denim Rescue Box. And I don't think they sold for very much. Uh, next is Judy Blue. I think these sold for around 20. And I got those a few months ago. I think it was in October when I got those. And I think it was from the Goodwill in Riverside because that was the day I went to get my hair done. And I stopped by the, the Goodwill off of Magnolia. Okay, next, let's see, Wild Fable bag. Okay, so this was my purse. I actually just got a new fossil bag that's exactly like this in real leather. So I wanted to list this because I'm not going to be using that anymore. Um, I don't remember how much it sold for, but I'll, I'll pop it up on the screen. And then Dolly Parton shirt. This is a Dolly Parton shirt that I tie dyed with bleach. Um, I think this sold on Depop. And then let's see, Everlane, Everlane jeans. They're like wide leg jeans. Um, they came in a thread up denim rescue box. And then let's see what else. Zadig and Voltaire, this was brand new at Tag, sold for 45, I believe. And I recently got that. Um, next is a pair of Levi's. These I recently picked up as well and then a bundle sold so these are all flannels from my father-in-law 
And they sold for only, I think, $8 for all three, but that was fine because um, the comps weren't super high on these anyway. So I'm just trying to move some inventory out so I can bring in some new stuff. So yeah, I'm happy to move all this stuff out. I wasn't expecting all of these sales since it's been super slow lately, but I'm very happy about it. All right, so I'm gonna package these up and then we'll see what my husband brought home from the bins. He's actually on his way home right now. So I saw this, he sent me a picture of this. So yes, I can sell this. I actually have that hat. Did you know that? Yeah, but it was tags, so I was wondering maybe you sell it. Was there was tags on it? I thought there was in it. Oh yeah, oh, is it brand new? I think so, it looked like a Oh, yeah, it's brand new with tags. Cool. Okay. All right. I would have definitely picked that up. Okay. Some Converse. So there's a little bit of heel drag, but not too bad. And I could probably clean them up really good. I would actually wear these if they were my size. I'll have to check the size, but I like those. Those are cute. All right. Is this the item that's for you? Uh -huh. What is it? A camera bag. It's a camera bag? Mm -hmm. Oh, wow. This thing is huge. This is the brand? Uh -huh. Go Groove. Have you ever heard of the brand? Uh -huh. It's nice. You're gonna have to show me more after I film this part. Okay, oh, that's so cute. Is that like marker on it or something? That could probably get, come out. That's cute. That's for Olivia, huh? Uh -huh. Cute. Oh, that one's cute too. Aw. They always have squishmallows at the bins. Ooh, cute. Is that for you? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and then these yeah that's not too bad people always buy these and then let's see oh, oh this is the same one that I have in my store oh, is it? did you know that uh, Oh, it's, a big it's one, the though, right? same one let's see what that's this this one's a medium are you gonna keep this one yeah okay nice how funny that you found the same exact one that I already have and then these are, are these for you? Yeah. 5'11"? Are they shorts or yeah, pants? They're, they're shorts. Oh, these are cute. I like them. They're 28, so I don't know if they're going to Yeah. Them. Oh, is that too small for you? Or 29. Oh, okay. Well, yeah, I'll sell them if they don't fit. <gasps> Ooh, what is this? A oh, pillowcase? Yeah, <gasps> oh, that's cute. Yeah, but it's so light. It barely would cost anything. It's fine. I like it. And then these are the Nikes. These are nice. They just need to be cleaned up. Yeah, I'll just... Looking, the tread is really good. Yeah. It's just they're dirty. They just need to be cleaned mm -hmm. up. Nice. Cool. And then this is the Pendleton coat. Let's see. It, oh, yeah. It's not heavy. It looks like no. it was heavy. Size small. Nice yeah, it looks like a vintage tag. Virgin wool, made in Hong Kong. Yeah, it's probably vintage. I'll do some research on this. Okay, and then this is the last thing. Oh, it's Thumper. <gasps> is this from Disney Parks? Oh, it's from Kohl's. I was gonna say, I had this Thumper when I was um, little from Disneyland. If it would have been the same one, I would have been keeping it for sure. But this is for the kids, huh? Yeah, or that's your kids, cute. Whatever, it's Disney and kids love plushies. Oh, good job, babe. You did good. Did you have fun? Mm -hmm. Good. So it's the next day. It is Wednesday 
and I had to quit my reselling day or my reselling stuff early yesterday because I had to pick up my son from school. He wasn't feeling good and he is home today. Um, so today I'm just gonna be working on removing stuff from my inventory. Um, and I didn't have anything to ship out today so it's gonna be a real easy day just removing these bad buys from my inventory. So um, I'll show you guys what I'm getting rid of or what's going to thread up or what I'm going to keep, all that good stuff. Okay, so I just went through all of my bins and this is all the stuff that I pulled. Of course, I'm not going to be, you know, removing everything, um, but my goal is to remove 25 pieces. So this pile right here is stuff that I will potentially be keeping. And then this pile is either donate or give to family members. And then this pile right here, oops, there's my shadow. That pile is my thread up pile. And that's the box I have started already. So I'm just gonna fill it to the top and then send it off. And then whatever I have left, I'll just put in a new thread up box. Okay, so my thread up box is fully packed up now. So the things that I added to this box were, let's see, Banana Republic girlfriend jeans, weren't getting any attention. Um, high rise jeggings, American Eagle size four, American Eagle black jeggings zero, Madewell green skinny jeans, ASOS orange sweater dress, J Jill blue sweater, J Crew Blazer. None of these things were getting attention, so these things will be going to thread up. Okay, and then I have three things that I'm gonna keep. Is uh, This is a Notorious B.I.G. sweatshirt that I'm gonna tie-dye. This is an Adidas sweatshirt, and this is a Fleetwood Mac sweatshirt. So these two were already in my closet, my personal closet, but I decided to pull them to keep them, and then this thing I did thrift to resell, but I'm just going to keep it for me because I need winter clothes. And then this is all the stuff that I'm going to be donating. So these are all the accessories. And then this is all just junk stuff that had flaws or it was in my store for way too long. This is one of the items that I pulled from my store and I'm keeping this. I actually had this in my personal closet for a long time, but I tried to sell it and it wasn't doing very well. So now I'm definitely going to be keeping it. Okay, so it is Thursday morning and I completely forgot that I was vlogging. Um, I am really tired today, so I'm kind of not thinking straight, but I'm packing up my sales right now. This is a pair of cut from the cloth jeans. And then let me show you my other stuff I haven't packed up yet. Um, these are a pair of Abercrombie & Fitch jeans, the Curve Love. This is a Lady Gaga shirt and this sold on Depop. And then these are a very, very tiny size of Madewell jeans. They're the Cali Demi Boot. They only sold for like seven bucks, which is fine with me because size 23 is not gonna be bringing in a lot of money anyway. So I'm gonna get these packaged up and then I have to drop them off at the post office because I actually have a big box of thread up stuff that needs to go out. So, um, and I didn't want to make my mail carrier have to carry that heavy box. So, um, yeah, I'm working on that. And then my kids get out early today because they have parent teacher conferences. So my daughter gets out at 11 and, um, uh, my son gets out at like 1240. All right, you guys, it is Friday. Finally. Um, so I am shipping out two orders. So this one is a Chet Baker jazz singer band tee. I've had this for a while and it sold on Depop. 
so I'm happy to see that go and then this is a Madewell jean jacket and it's cropped um, but it's like a DIY crop this came in my last thread up denim rescue box that was really bad so I'm happy that this is going I have made two sales from that box so far um and yeah so i'm gonna be packing these up and then i'm gonna take them to the post office i have some errands to run and then i um want to try to list a few things today i haven't really listed all week so hopefully later on i could do that i want to try to list these shoes and I have a few other things that I want to list. This morning I ordered another rescue box because they're having a 20% off sale. So I ordered a 30 pound denim rescue box and I'm hoping that it is better than my last box. Here are some listings that I ended up doing. It was just four cassette tapes that I had laying around uh, since I didn't have my other stuff ready yet. some sh or the shoes that I need to list but these ones unfortunately are way too damaged um one of them is bending let's see it's this one right here so I can't sell it for that reason and then this one I think it's this one no it's the same shoe it's coming apart here so I'm just gonna probably donate these. If they were my size, I would have kept them. I would have just glued them down, but. So these ones are definitely just gonna get donated. That's kind of sucks, but, cause they are really cute. Happy Saturday, everybody. Um, I decided to vlog on Saturday, obviously. Um, so this vlog ended up being Tuesday through Saturday. So today I, yeah! I'm gonna be listing the things that my husband brought home from the bins the other day. And then I'm gonna try to tie dye one of my sweatshirts that I pulled from my inventory. And yeah, that's probably all I'm gonna be doing. I didn't make any sales to ship out, so that's what I'm gonna be doing today. And then later on today, I'm gonna be, I'm gonna be watching the UFC fight. this vintage Pendleton was from. So I went to um, Vintage Fashion Guild and I looked up the label um, and it showed me it was from the 1990s. So now I know what year it's from. So if you're ever having trouble um, finding out like what era a piece is from, you can check out that website and it'll help you find um, what decade it's from. Thank you. 